This is the really salty one. Oh, that's worse than the hair. <coughs> that's worse than the raw herring. Yesterday we caught a bus and a train from where we were in Rotterdam up here to Harlem. It's a little city a bit north of Amsterdam and we thought what a better town to do a food tour. Our lovely host at this trusted house it has made us a bit of a list and apparently there's a marker on today. So we're gonna go into town and see how many things we can cross off. But the first two we can actually do right here. on our list is stroop waffles. I don't really know what they are. It's like a waffle biscuit that's layered with like a caramel kind of sauce in the middle. Apparently the thing you have to do is pop it on top of your coffee so it gets all heated up and gooey. It smells so good. Mm. Is this a breakfast food? They know how to do breakfast. It's almost like a caramelly flavor, whatever's on the inside. Delicious. My breakfast is equally as sweet. So for breakfast, I've got Huggle Slug, which translates loosely into hail. It's pretty much just chocolate on bread. It started a really, really long time ago and it's since been refined. You can now get chocolate and sprinkles and all different sorts of things, but they say it is one of the sources of happiness for all Dutch people. Chocolate for breakfast. So good. It's kind of like fairy bread, but the sprinkles are really chocolatey. Two down, and we haven't even left the house. Time to go to the market, I think, and see what else we can find. <laughs> Luckily for us, a lot of the Dutch food is actually snack size, so they like their little deep fried things and they're not really full meals, so we should be able to get through most of this list, I reckon, especially if we're going to a market. How good is this? A massive market out the front of the cathedral. First thing on the list, profit pancake things. I don't really know how you pronounce it. This is good because I couldn't quite do raw herring at <laughs> nine o'clock in the morning. and the lovely shop attendant and the guy that was ordering behind us went through our list of foods for the day and confirmed they're all good choices. He even tried to add one, but I don't know if we'll be able to fit it in. We've got our profitages. We asked for whatever's normal, so it's butter and powdered sugar, and it's literally like a knob of butter on top and packed with powdered sugar. It's like a really hot, fluffy pancake and the butter and the icing sugar on top is just, I mean, you can't go wrong with butter and sugar, can you? <laughs> Good start to the day, better than raw herring to start. 
It was so fun watching her make them as well. She has this batter in like a clicker thing and it just spits out the exact right amount. So much fun. Oh, we got to cross it off our list. ourselves to do this but we now have raw herring for our second round with pickles and fresh onions because that's apparently how it's eaten so I guess I'll take a stab of everything it doesn't really smell that fishy it's actually not bad <laughs> I think that pickle is really helping to mask the flavor <laughs> the flavor it's really not that bad you want some <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot worse without people. <laughs> hey, buzz it! Hey, V. <laughs> Pickle definitely masks it. And the two bulk and bad It's not something I would go out of my way to eat. But not bad. I need fries or something now to wash that down. <laughs> yeah. That was definitely the one I was least looking forward to, so that's done. Now probably onto some good stuff. almost on the inside but really crunchy outside and I can't get over the mustard it's like the real American mustard that you get from the shops that I just slather my hot dogs in so good mm.
quick licorice. Apparently we've gotten a couple of sweet options and some salty options because traditional Dutch licorice is salty. <sighs> sweet one. I don't like the aniseedy flavor. Yeah, it just tastes like regular licorice. Oh, do the really salty one. Yeah. Apparently this is the really salty one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Literally the second it hits your tongue. <laughs> That's worse than the hip. <coughs> That's worse than the raw herring. Oh, open up. Oh, that, oh, that burns. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can have the rest of that. <laughs> Yummy. Weird, is it? Mmm. It's got like a weird sweetness to it, but the chips are amazing. They're like fresh cut with the skin on and so so crispy we're both pretty full now so i think this is the end to the in city portion and then we'll keep going for dinner it is a few hours later and we're finally hungry so i think it's time for some wine and cheese This is two years old. <laughs> is it? Yeah, but it sounds bad when you say it's two years old. This is... <laughs> <laughs> like it's matured for two years. <laughs> also, Dutch treat, Dutch biscuit, speculas. We've been having them throughout <laughs> each day we've been here, but it's technically traditional Dutch biscuit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only missed out on three on our list. I'd say that's a win. Hmm.